Hey VC, it's Danny. Um, here to do uh, my contest entry for Chad at Harbiz, his 100 subs contest. Um, congrats, Chad, on 100. I think you're well over 100 now. Uh, every single one well deserved. I love your channel. Um, I love everything you show. I, I look forward to all your videos. And uh, this was a really a, a great idea for a contest. So when I was back east, I picked up um, some local stuff, uh, mostly 7 inches. And um, yeah. Uh, let's just get going here. <clears throat> so first up is Bad Moves. Uh, this is their new EP. Now, Bad Moves is a band that I found through a friend of mine at work. Uh, they're actually a DC band. So broadly local for me, um, you know, East Coast. Uh, but um, they're just so good. They're... they're uh, indie punk i don't know i don't know how to call it um it's punk um it's pop punk in the way that the dead milkman are pop punk not in the way that blink 182 is pop punk um these songs are poppy and catchy and and great but clearly everything else about um you know the aesthetic of the band um the, the way that they release their material. They're touring with Jeff Ro Rosenstock soon, uh, if that gives you any clue about what, who they are. Um, I got this through Nervous Nelly Records. Um, it was really cheap, and it's a super limited printing, pressing. And they were just so thrilled to have the order, and, and they were such sweethearts, and the music's so good. Um, I just recommend get over to Nervous Nelly Records and sell these out they deserve they're, it's a really great ep um i just can't speak highly of it enough so bad moves um, definitely check it out now getting a little more um actually local to me this is the ugly club out of uh cranford new jersey roselle park new jersey i'm not sure where they build themselves from but you know um central jersey basically north jersey and so these were, you know, kind of the hometown heroes before uh, I left for, for California. Um, this was the only band who could take the local bar where they, they did open mic nights and where kind of nobody really cared too much about what was happening on the stage. When they played, it was a show, a sold out show with, people would be dancing and drinking and it was a just a huge party um and i knew all the guys in the band and they're you know they're all they're all great guys they're all friends and um you know some of these are people that i would have played music with uh ryan mcnulty the drummer i used to just jam with every once in a while um you know i made some music with the lead singer they, you know these were these were the guys that were around um another interesting thing about the ugly club was when years ago I, I me and two friends started a club a, a club a band started a band we we got together we wrote one song which we maybe recorded a really rough demo of like an acoustic and voice demo and then ne never did anything else but we named ourselves the ugly club and then did nothing and uh so apparently when this band formed um here, I'll take it out. They went They went to Mike Supoy, um, who was my buddy and the guy that I was in a band with. And his brother Rick is the bass player in the Ugly Club. And Mike, I guess, just remembered the, the name the Ugly Club. It was kind of kicking around, so they adopted it. Um, so, yeah, there's there's that. Oh, uh, I say something. It's... it's spoon like indie pop um it's danceable indie pop it's it's catchy uh, ryan egan lead singer has a great voice and is doing some solo pop stuff now it's worth checking out um yeah so the ugly club um and keeping the connection more or less directly to me this is uh a split seven inch cannonball and this means war. 
um, which my buddy Nick, uh, back from New Jersey, put together. And if you can see it there, I actually did this artwork um, when I was still in art school. Uh, I've always been a little embarrassed. I don't know if you can see that they're shooting the lead singer out of a cannon on the stage because the band's name is Cannonball. Uh, <laughs> this is a hardcore um, split. So this artwork is incredibly appropriate. Uh, this artwork is questionable. Um, but yeah, my buddy got me to do the artwork for this thing. Um, and I, every, one band was drawn as babies, one band was drawn as old men. Oh, there are the dogs. Uh, so anyway, yeah, Nick put it together, um, and he got, uh, he got me to do the artwork, and I got to go to see the band, um, they played a release show at a local VFW, and it was a breakthrough moment for me with Hardcore, like, it was, it was such a good show, and I, Hardcore had always been a little too hard for me, and I got it after this show, um, so, yeah, sorry about the, uh, the barking dogs in the back, hopefully it's not too loud. Um, so, also through Nick, um, I was able to grab this uh, full of fancy and the acid creeps. This is another split. Um, I think put out by the same people. The, the Full of Fancy were friends of friends. Um, I, I think I had done a drawing for one of them once. Um, and that's kind of how this connection was made again. Um, but this is kind of like... I don't know if twee punk is a thing, but that's what I'm calling this. It's... It is. It's twee and it's 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 catchy, but it's very very much punk. You know, I mean, um, this is just a photocopied page that you know. I mean, um, it's all the punk aesthetic. Uh, you know, and and New Jersey had a pretty vibrant local music scene. Um, so you, everybody's music kind of, now that I listen to it again, I realize it was, it was in, it had broader influences than I saw at the time. Um, so, and then this last one, um, I actually just found in my mega hall, uh, and I showed it briefly, but. This is the screaming females. Um, what if someone is watching their TV? Uh, and the screaming females are also a local band. Um, I actually went to high school with Marissa Paternoster, the lead singer and guitar player, um, and the artist who does all of the artwork for the band. Um, and yeah, so so I was really happy to find this. Um, this is a not on label, self released record. Um, it's on this green translucent, and I remember the first time I saw Marissa play was at. Um, there was like a coffee shop night thing happening at my high school that, that the math teacher had put on. And me and a friend were sitting at the side drawing, like live drawing everything that was happening on the stage. And then there was more or less like a talent show, but it was, it was artsy and it, and it, everybody kind of was taking themselves a little too seriously. And it was really great for that, um, you know, in the best possible way. And then Marissa got up 
And I'd seen her in art classes. She was a year younger than me, but I, I didn't know her very well. We didn't talk very often or, or at all. And she had long hair that hung in, entirely in front of her face. And she oh, she drew like this in high school. She had this this handwriting. She had an aesthetic completely her own, and she had a vision clearly. Um, and I knew that much, but otherwise I was shocked to know that she played guitar. Or that she was going to sing seemed crazy because I never heard her speak. And I don't I don't even remember what she played. If she played covers or if she played originals. But I think she played covers. But she ripped. Like, it's so cheesy, but I get why people say face melting. Yeah, like, I don't even know. It, it was unbelievable. I, I was completely floored she's an insane guitar player she's she just i don't know i mean all the things that i could use to describe her are like don't I, I i can't think of anything that even comes close um she is both raw and angular and aggressive and avant-garde and understand like totally un also understands how to make it all palatable um she's a she's a true artist um this you know it's so the screaming females are a punk band i think they formed in new brunswick or, but they're all from more or less the same same area as i am um they're a three-piece marissa sings and plays uh lead guitar and um it's a little broader than punk me i don't know what 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 you would call it um punk alternative indie uh post-punk i don't know um it's awesome uh this is an early album i think is their second she still screams on this album which i don't think she does quite as much but she's got a great scream she's got a great voice um slater kinney bikini kill not to just cite female-led bands, but th that's that would ballpark it for you. Um, just an awesome band. And one last thing, and then I'll wrap it up here. Uh, so not only does it come with this really um, awesome insert with like a watercolor comic that Marissa made, but... Um, in the thank yous are both full of fancy and seasick and so full of fancy is here and seasick is the name of uh the band that my friend nick who got me to do this um seven inch uh fronted so when I pulled that, that lyric sheet out after having just found it the other day um, and realized how insanely local it was, it couldn't have been more local. It, it literally connected to the pile I already had to show. Uh, I don't know, I was freaking out a little bit. Um, so anyway, there's uh, those are my locals. And uh, thanks again, Chad. Congrats again. And I'll see you guys later.